What's up, YouTube? Squad Gaming back with another video, but today I'm playing my opening night of my Denver Nuggets versus the Houston Rockets, my G or my league. And I hope you didn't see the opening tip because that was horrid on my part. I jumped way too early, but to get things started, first play of the game, Nurkic is just blocked and destroyed by Dwight Howard. And then for the first points of the my league. Ty Lawson's going to score on us with an easy layup. We really had a tough tr tough time protecting the paint on today. And as you see right here, Dwight Howard gets his rebound and just throws it down viciously. Ridiculous game for Dwight Howard, and as you'll see his stats later on. But here, we're already down 10-1. to 1. The Denver Nuggets need to get something going. We're going to do that exactly with Emmanuel Moutier. He's going to go to Kenneth Reed. Kenneth Reed's going to drive fine. Nurkic, and this time, he's going to throw it down. Donatis Manahunas could not hold him there. Now 14-5. to 5. Look at that dunk by Kenneth Reed, just showing off his athleticism. Going reverse, didn't even need to just lay it in. Now 14-7, to 7, really need to get things going as we cannot fall behind early. That's going to be and one for Nurkic, and I really love when my big man can run the floor like he can. It really helps when Kenneth Reed and him run the floor. But here you'll see that Kenneth Reed's going to throw that one up lefty. Awkward kind of shot right there. But he is going to get that one to fall. Now 18-11, to 11, Patrick Beverly's going to run around the outside, find Donatas, Manahunas, find James Harden. James Harden's going to stroke that. That is cash every time. Does his signature move, and he's going to get that one to go. Now, 23-15, to 15, getting towards the end of the first quarter. Patrick Beverly's going to kick it. He's going to find Terrence Jones, and it's just an awkward play. You know that's when the Rockets are getting things their way. And now... At the very end of the first quarter, Patrick Beverly's going to get a screen on the outside. Going to find James Harden. He's going to air it out. He's going to go in and out. And I'm honestly surprised he didn't make that. He had himself a very good day, as you would expect. But you could really tell in this game that it was opening night. Both teams struggled on offense, really getting sets to, sets going and getting things done. And like they would later in the season. You know, teams would run things fluent. Things just seem to be scrambled. But right here... Nurkic is going to find himself with another wide open dunk. The pick and roll, they always double teams in. I didn't really know why it left the big man open a lot of the time. This time, I'm going to get to White Howard just trying to flail at that jumper, and he goes into the stands. Jump shot by Randy Ford. He's good to go. 29-19. Ty Lawson is going to take me right to the rack. That's easy to go. You'll see me playing a somewhat of off ball as in like the fewer or the next couple of games because on ball... It's kind of why I don't play online. I'm awful at on-ball on defense, and I get burned every time that I play on-ball defense. So a lot of time I like to be a big man and just control the paint, be some, be a normal big man and help on defense because it's usually they don't do that. But Dwight Howard just sends Kenneth Reed to the floor. I don't know what he was doing there, and he slams it home. Now 33-21, to 21, Dwight Howard's going to go to work on Kenneth Reed. He's going to get that one to go, the and one. And look at this. This is even more surprising. Dwight Howard going to finish the and one with a made free throw. He was not that bad from the line today. Day. But here we're going to have a really lucky catch over there on the outside. Jameer Nelson, bang. Three-pointers good to go. Nice hit right there by Jameer Nelson. 37-26, to 26, really trying to make a comeback in this game. And we could with a big bucket here. Kenneth Reed and Nurkic. Nurkic, a big play by the big man. Both of them are just moving the ball around. Nurkic is going to dunk that one again. His third dunk I think I've shown you guys already. Now, we're only down nine single digits for right now. They're going to hit Marcus Thornton, who's going to drill that three in my face. Big time three by the big time shooter right there. Now we're up 11. They're going to find Terrence Jones. Terrence Jones is going to hit it. And one thing I didn't find that I really liked, on the, that I didn't like on the sliders was I could not hit a jump shot. You'll see my halftime percentage, and they could hit most of their jump shots. They shoot 50% at halftime from three, and it's not like they went one of two or two of four. They shot multiple three-pointers, and they seem to hit them. But when I did, I don't know how very many outside shooters, which is one thing that I want to talk about for a second. Um, I really need to find some three-point shooters either in the offseason or through some little trades here soon because honestly my top three-point shooter right now has got to be Danilo Gallinari. I didn't know Emmanuel Moutier didn't have a very good three-point rating and I thought Randy Foy could not come down but I guess he can't. Him and Danilo Gallinari and uh, Jameer Nelson are my only decent three-point shooters on the team. I really need to find one that knocks one down. Here's Gallinari right there knock one down after a big swat on the other end on James Harden and right before halftime here we're going to air one out but we were not that far behind at halftime. Keeping ourselves in the game, just hanging around. That's what that's what we need to do. 50 to 40. They're shooting the ball very well. We just need to knock some shots down in the second half, and we'll be back in this game. As you see, they're shooting great from the free throw line, and I am not. I didn't realize this team was so poor shooting the ball. It really was frustrating because I just... 
didn't know it was this bad. Free throws is bad. Three point is bad. It's just I need to take the ball to the rack apparently, which I do figure out how to do with Moutier and Kenneth Farid in the second half. You'll see I really improve on that, and I'm really looking forward to do that a lot more in the future. So you see I'm just taking it to the rack with Emmanuel Moutier. He doesn't always finish, but it's going to help him in the end as he gets a steal right here. Blows by Ty Lawson. He's got himself an easy layup right there. And he has himself a decent day. Didn't shoot the ball very well. He's 0, he's 0 for 8 at halftime. But that's okay because I'm just getting used to playing with these players. And right here, Kenneth Fareed spins around. Dunks and Donatas Manahunas' face. Here he gets stripped, though. They're going to get the Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson going to kick it up to James Harden. And Kenneth Fareed's going to foul him after turning the ball over. That's an and one from James Harden. Finishes strong through contact. He always has. He seems like he always wills. He always wills. He always will. And right there, they're going to get a mid-range jumper. And here, Kenneth Reed, I really start to take over with him. I realized that I finally realized that Monahunas was slow, and Kenneth Reed can really explode right by him. And he's going to do that multiple times here in the second half. You'll see. Right here's Randy Ford with a nice spin move. He's going to get that one to go. James Harden obviously doesn't play much defense, and he's going to get that stop. Actually, he played some pretty good defense last year. It was not as bad as people had seen him before two years ago. If you saw that uh, James Harden defensive mixtape kind of thing, that was pretty hilarious. But look at this and one by Patrick Beverly. He didn't even see the hoop on this one. He was just knocked down, threw it up, gets the and one. Right here we get a steal though. We're down 17, trying to make a comeback right before the half. Gonna find Kenneth Reed. He's gonna throw that one down. Has multiple dunks here in the second half, and that really got us some momentum. And by right here, Patrick Beverly's gonna put an end to that. He's gonna hit a three. That's what I'm talking about. Patrick Beverly is not that good of a three-point shooter, and he really just knocks those down. But Kenneth Reed explodes by Monahunas. I told you that I finally learned to do that with him, and that's a big dunk right there. Now down 18, find Denise. Neil Gallinari, not, we're going to bring it down to 15. We're really trying to get ourselves back in this game. It's a 15 point lead. We got to hold them before the end of the third quarter. Patrick Beverly fades away, cannot get that one to go. So we are down 79 to 64 at the end of the third quarter, but I think a run at the beginning of the fourth quarter really could get us back in this game. We've seen that one momentum booster for him, and we cannot do anything ridiculous to have them get the momentum and carry away with this game. Now, the first play of this game, when I decide to lock up on defense, what do we do? Leave a guy wide open for, for three, and Trevor Ariza is going to hit that every time. Has a really nice jump shot. Now, down 18, Emmanuel Moutier is going to hit. Wilson Chandler, nice little pick-and-pop action right there. Mid-range jumper is money. And now, down 16, trying to make a little comeback. A nice spin move and a nice dish to Wilson Chandler. I finally figured out how to play with Emmanuel Moutier. I just need to go to the basket. I need to use his just great ball handling. And there, there's a nice pass. Terrence Jones throws that down viciously. And now, we're only down 14. A big stop here could be big. But James Harden, one dribble, pull-up jumper. He hits that. You know that he's having himself a good day. If he's going to hit that all the time, then there's nothing we can do. But right here, this is just inexcusable. Dwight Howard cannot come off a little screen from Ty Lawson and dunk that on an out-of-bounds play. But Emmanuel Moutier making some spin moves and flips that one up and good. That could be some momentum that we needed. Right here, we're down 16. A big stop right here could be good. We get it. Randy Foy on the break. This could be a big momentum booster. And he missed the layup. How are you an NBA player in missing that layup? At that point, it was over. They went on the other end, scored, and put it up 20-plus, and we put in our reserves, and so did they. I just don't get how Randy Ford can be an NBA player and miss a layup like that. That's ridiculous, but we do lose 106-80. to 80. The Rockets came, punched us in the mouth in the fourth quarter, and we could not recover from it. As you see, James Harden had himself a pretty good day. Dwight Howard was the player of the game. James Harden didn't shoot the ball as well, but he really knocked down shots when he needed to when we had a little bit of momentum. Kenneth Reed was pretty good. Emmanuel Moody, I shot with him a lot in the fourth quarter after I missed that layup just to try to see, just try to feel him out and get us to win. But hope you guys did enjoy. As